everybody, welcome to Distant Date Night Live from the uh, the wild lands of Candelo, um, North Wales, um, broadcasting to the world. <laughs> um, tonight I have some wicked guests, both you know, just brilliant, awesome, fun, um, talented, amazing women. Um, ready Spaghetti, introducing. Jackie Marsha, oops, and Alona Harker. Woohoo! Yay! Wow, how cool! Yay! <laughs> we have to do. We have to raise our glasses to, to a yeah. to a beautiful a beautiful date night ahead of us. Yes. Cheers, so, everybody! I always wanted a three way. Here we go. I just yeah. want to say how beautiful <laughs> you both look in your mm. hearts. That's a good start. That's a, that that would get me over the line. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Alana. You made it quite I just thought I'd set the bar. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We're gonna go. We're gonna make sure it goes lower. Yeah. Okay, awesome. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's. Uh, I don't even know what day of the week it is. Um, and I'm not in lockdown. You know, but hey. <laughs> Anyway, here we are, ladies. Oh, Ru Ruth has chimed in. There's Ruth. Oh, yeah. Date night. There. That's what day it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> date night. Woo! I was thinking that we just do this concert and then at the end of it, I'll put on like the best of the 90s, like disco music, and we can just. <laughs> uh, as long as you share that like playlist. This. Everybody can send their photos. A bit of Mel and Kim, a bit of brass, be great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, <laughs> a bit of Millie Vanilli. Oh, no. Millie Vanilli. No, just... oh. <laughs> I, can I tell you, like, the funniest thing about Millie Vanilli is that, like, okay, so there's this, like, I never got asked up by anybody at school except this one time at band camp. No, at, at um, Nippers camp. <laughs> Nippers camp and the most oh, beautiful, goodness. like the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful boy, right? Ever. Um, um I know I've been singing all night by the fire and I went and hopped in my tent with my sister and this this boy and his friend stood outside my tent and sang Girl I'm gonna miss you. But oh, I didn't know what to do. Oh. I know. Oh, like, what? Did you say anything? Did you squeak? Oh, or did you just tell him was, to bugger off? I'd, what did you I do? know I giggled and just said I just giggled and then I said yeah, and yeah. his name was I think his name was Zed or Jed. Jed or Zed. One of them. And he was so gorgeous. But um oh my God, I didn't really know that's so I didn't, cute. I know, that's but really I didn't cute. even know what that meant. And the next morning all the girls were like, Oh my gosh, Jed asked you out and I was like, Oh Did he? I didn't notice. <laughs> It's a tragedy for me to Ellie see. Hosnell, still missing track. Oh, no, I can't. That's, <laughs> I'm like, that's pretty good. I just want to say More that. than words for all I have to do to make it easy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, no. That one still but gets me. And, and Cheap Trick the Flame. Oh, oh I know. Man. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. oh, Jackson's tuned in as well. Laura Jackson. Woo oh, Jackson. Hey. Oh, we're, so in, we're so in for giggles tonight. I thought I actually, today I was listening to Crowded House, so I thought I'd just start with a good house to, like, you know. Oh, tops. Get Ooh. us in, you know. Uh, even Dad's charming in. Come on, Mel. <laughs> sing, sing, oh, sing. <laughs> Come on, Mel. No more chatting. This is okay. not a podcast. Let's go. This is not a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it should be. I think it should, it should be. be. Oh my we'll gosh, talk. We would have so much I fun. could murder someone. I mean, it makes yeah. it easier. <laughs> we're gonna That's we're gonna go towards "Fall at Your Feet" by Crowded House, and I'll come oh. back to use in a second. Um, Okey I'll, just, I'll just mute you because I can, <laughs> and then I'll. Solo myself. <laughs> See you in a second. Okay. All right. So I'll put that down. Ready? I only just learnt this like twenty minutes ago, but it's okay. It's it's um you know, I I can't stop singing it. I 
I'm really close tonight And I feel like I'm moving inside Lying in the dark I think that I'm beginning to know it Let it go I'll be there when you go Yeah, and whenever your feet you let your tears rain down on me whenever I touch your slow turn away hiding from me now something in the way Words don't sound right. I hear them all move inside you. I'll be there when you call. Yeah, and whenever I fall at your feet, you let your tears. So I need my help Who knows that my lead I'll fall And I'll fall Whenever I your tears rain down on me whenever I fall whenever I fall whenever I fall whenever I fall Hey! Yay! <laughs> it's the thing I'm most excited about tonight is listening to both of you. It's, gonna, it's, like, fun. Yeah, it's, really yeah, it's the back table thing, you know, when you're on tour and you get to hang out at, at, at your, with you know, with your mate and you play songs and you hear things you haven't heard for a while and, you know, I love that feeling when you're on tour. I mean, I love the performances too, but I love the after gig jams and this has that feeling to it. I really love it. Yeah, yeah. What? Around the table, pass the song around, laugh at each other a little. <laughs> you really oh. chose it in that <laughs> no, no. E Evie's joined in there singing along. Thanks. Thank you, Evie. Um yeah, nice. And it's a bit of clapping there. That's nice. Thanks, Sarah. Cool. Um, well, which way are we going to go? You know, like we're just going to go. Which way? Uh, Alphabetically. It, it, well, H, don't laugh. I was about to count. Oh, so H I J. I don't it's know. H I J. Oh, it's my own. Like, it's you. <laughs> like, it's Elm, so technically. So, we, you know, it's okay. I just had to start it. <laughs> to the left hand side. All right. We'll, we'll go with Elena. Okay, Elena. <laughs> See, it's different than my in my screen. Um, hello. And oh, is it? like it's so exciting to be here. Exactly. It's not quite it's like I've I've heard of this tour stuff, but it's been so long. Yeah. Um but it's um, olden days. 
Oh, in the olden days. It's so olden days. It's so retro. So retro. So vintage. (laughs) So so retro. (laughs) Um, I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much for inviting me for the date night. And um, I just want to, oh, hi, Brenda. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I had a garage sale today and Brenda came along and, you know, bought some of my stuff. So, hi. Oh, nice Um, follow. Yeah. Nice follow. I've just moved. So I'm in my new place. Um, So it's very exciting for me. So, um, yeah, it's it's a bit of a setup. It's a bit different from my old place. But anyway, um, I don't have my studio set up. So um, we're just playing it, you know, playing it by feel. But I thought I'd read this old poem um, because it's date night with the with these incredible women, phenomenal women. I thought I'd read a poem um, that I wrote in 2010. So it's, yeah, it's 11 years old. I'm building a black picket fence. It's going to be 10 miles wide and I'm going to build it so tall that it'll reach the heavens high. And I'll attach a brief note upon the top of my long fence to explain to the good Lord above about my sufferance. And sure, I have been a sinner, but I have paid my dues putting up with some of those atoms that he set on the loose. Please let me expand further upon my mighty woes that surely the original sin was Adam without his clothes. What irresponsible parent would allow children thus to frolic naked in the bush with snakes about the place? And to add insult to possible workplace injury, he played mind games with his twins. He told one about the forbidden fruit and then said to eat it was a sin. Now, if I bought some Tim Tams that I didn't bother to hide, don't you think my kids wouldn't go straight to the dark side? Well, honestly, God, yes, you of the omnipotent fame, you should have known better. Now, really, who's to blame? But instead of owning up, nup, you pointed the finger instead and you blamed women for original sin. Well, you know where that's led. With us women being frowned upon for ever offering up our fruits, your churches, mosques and synagogues are full of rude, misogynist coots. But at least I was brought up with manners. And if needs be desires, then offering up a piece of fruit is surely a class of the highest. But no, I'm meant to feel like a scarlet whorish skank if ever I offer up with joy any more of this moorish flank. But it was you who made me this sexy god, so it's not hard to see why I'm building that black picket fence until it reaches the heavens high. And I'm starting my own religion in my little black gated Eden, and I'll appoint everyone god, and then we'll all be even. And in this solipsist heaven, I will not include shame, and I will cast out with great vengeance all hatred, judgment, and blame. And if you want to visit us, God, I'll put on a cup of tea and I'll wait silent until I hear those mighty words. Dear Eve, I'm so sorry. Oh, Ooh. Wow, that's a cool one. Yeah. That's it's a date night. It's date night poem. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Oh. Love it. Ah, oh, cool. Is it Laura's thanks. DD? Round of applause there from Laura. Laura. I just look glad I put solipsist in there, like put a bit of philosophy in there. I love putting a bit of science or philosophy in my poems. Oh, it's <laughs> formidable. <laughs> I love it. Formidable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I want to, you, we're all there. We're all in the, yeah. Hey, thanks, Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we're all in 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 this um, wonderful black gated Eden because honestly, fuck white picket fences. We don't want that shit. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> too reflective. Too reflective. Too reflective. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have Need a white other, fence, least I just of... like to say. <laughs> so tricky, Jackie. It's a rental. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I'm continuing my mission in the suburbs of I mean, um, we... gentle infiltration. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Marie. I went to a, a town. I went to a town in America once, and um, it was really tidy and neat, like extremely tidy and extremely neat. And it was a very strange town on the coast, and lots of white picket fences and lots of white, you know, whitewashed. Um, tidiness and then underneath the houses they have full-on doof nightclubs 
Yeah, great. Excellent. Yeah. It's, wow. It was like it was like a complete, you know, top and tail that place. Yeah, great. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that's the whole thing. I mean, it's just you know, when will we ever learn not to take things at face value? Um, yeah, yeah. It was amazing. It was amazing. I had the worst haircut ever in that town. <laughs> Oh, but but he did it in this way that was like, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful, and then it really, really bad. <laughs> but I think it's because he I'd wanted to it with the, my boyfriend. <laughs> I'd say it was the disco cookies. They've probably taken a lot of like you know yeah. cookies, and they maybe were a bit wired the yeah. next day. Was it was it next day bad, or was it you know when you get a haircut and you go awesome, that's great, and then the next day you go, I'm this is going to grow out, not. No, no, it was it was like um, it was classic. Um, you know how we all moved on to to making to to putting foils in our hair. Um, oh yeah. But it was still it was at the point of of still doing it through the through the um. Oh, through the cap. So I, you had the so cap. I, it was yes. full on cap. It was cap vibe, and so I came out looking like I was sort of grey haired, like it. You know how it's like scatters all the way through, and you can really yeah. clearly see the line and stuff. Anyway. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah, your hair looks lo- I just want to say, because it's date night, your hair looks beautiful tonight. Great date look- hair. Oh, thank you. So Amazing. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. She's done this Shut before. <laughs> <laughs> we know who's got, who'd go off on Tinder, eh? <laughs> oh, any date stories there, Melanie? You want to, any recent date I'm stories? Never- no, I haven't ever done it, so it's okay. No, I don't think any of us have done it. But but uh, it's just... I've been on Tinder for like two seconds, and then I got scared. But my uh, my flatmate is helping me. She's going to be my Tinder curator. She's also a hairdresser, <laughs> so woo! Hair curator <laughs> and Tinder curator. I'm very very lucky. Oh, we better look. jump to Jackie to sing a song. <laughs> oh no, I was totally fully. Oh, I I I had a Tinder era, but it was research. <laughs> really, I had. I... <laughs> Yeah. I, was, I and still have all the notes for, but then it got to kind of sidetracked by, you know, breast cancer. But I was writing and still am writing uh, the Great Australian Erotic Novel, Ooh. and uh, which is the title, and uh, um, which is, you know, Australian sort of eroticism isn't necessarily something that you've sort of put in the same sentence. So I did, and they had a, uh, the image for the front cover is, you know, when the thong loses the plug so it's just that plug, it. plug has just come sensually out of the hole and it's on snag and that's the front cover of the novel so the, the double plug is, has a whole new meaning oh totally yeah <laughs> I, I went there i went there don't worry so all the notes are in my archive under my lovely house that's got a white picket fence and out here in the deep suburbs of Brisbane, and uh, I will drag it out. I've been, um, I've made a promise to someone about uh, actually doing something with it at some point, or maybe not. I don't know, but I think the notes themselves will be quite interesting posthumously. (laughs) Although I do have a posthumous plan to um, just set fire to everything. So, well, I've got posthumously. (laughs) Yeah, we're probably gonna. Yeah, it's time fireworks. So once I know I'm going to die, all of my stuff is going to be at the farm uh, and um, at the farm and I'm going to have like timed fireworks uh, in it. Like, you know, if anybody's ever been to Woodford Folk Festival, there'll be an effigy type thing there, like Burning Man type thing and the fireworks will go off and my entire archives will be inside it and it'll all just go up and once I die I hit the I can just imagine it. people running towards it trying to get They're everything no. <laughs> because you're you're such yeah. a great songwriter people are like oh, we've got to get the gold yeah like, honestly you're going to be killing people Jackie I'm yeah. sorry I'm like, when you go be, people die. there'll be a button on my smartwatch don't worry I'll be lying in bed in the hospice somewhere you know some small town on the edge of doom Going, I think I'm gonna die about five minutes. So, okay, ready? I want to film it, I want to watch it, the archive burn as I go. Bye. Oh, what a way to go! <laughs> All right, well, just don't do it too soon, please. No, god, no, Thanks. no, I think I'm definitely cursed to live a long life. I'll just, um, you know, anyway, 
Oh, it's hell. But it's all right. It's okay. Well, it's good um, for us. Yeah, oh, us. We like it. Well, we like having very, uni. You're very kind. Hi. Uh, yes. Excellent. Well, <laughs> It's all right. I've been enjoying my own company today. This is the first time I've actually... Oh, no, that's not true. I did speak to people today. That's all right. Okay, it's good. It's been a multiple person talking day. Um, so I'm go I am going to do you guys a song, but um, yeah. I had a COVID miracle. I don't know if you guys are aware. Um, I know, and this kind of probably sucks because I know for people to hear, but I'm kind of up... I'm, I'm really into, you know creating just change shifting my vibration to have a better experience and so I'm just not going to censor the good stuff I think it's like it's good to go yeah I had a win so I had a I had a cool experience in the middle of all the lockdown and stuff where I got asked to uh for god knows why but I got asked to act in a film and write all the music for it um and so I thought I'd play you guys one of the songs because, um, you know, back in the olden days when we used to go touring, um, <laughs> you know, you know the run that you do from Sydney out to Canberra and the and Lake George there, and I always love that feeling of going, oh, Lake George, you know, and, oh, just for, and probably just feeling excited because I was going to go hang out with Dan Waters and Rat Patrol and that kind of thing, but. Um, you know, because you gotta have your you gotta have your posse in every town, you know. So, um, so the character, you know, the, my character in the film has done all of that and toured around and done all of those things. So she's got this little song that she wrote called "The Lake Saint George," which is a little hat dip to it, and it's one of those things when you're on the road and your lover is in the band and it's not going so great. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you, you just get on with it. So I'll give you guys a song. Oh, cool! Sounds good. Mm. Okay. Uh, got cheat sheets. Here we go. Got a tune. This is the famous two moon guitar from a song I wrote called "Still Fucking Up." That um. Uh, me and a beautiful elder up here, um, Bobby Weatherall. Um, he and I went halves in it so that I could have a guitar because I didn't have a guitar um, and I had gigs coming up because I never hocked the guitar. Anyway, whatever. Here we go. The Lake St. George. I'll take these off. Oh, feel free. Um, Looking for action, clarity seeking a scene, and the cold of the space between the hours through which we live. I saw you laughing at the sight of your face as the car will streets the lake, St. George. Couldn't make out where you were. Of our minds through the machine of tattoos, the sound of 
Sometimes I get so my heart expands so much listening to music that I go, oh, how could my heart get any bigger? And then it just grows. That's like, just yeah. like loved it. Thank you. Oh, the expanse. Hey. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Yeah. So um, someone, Richard, chimed in there and said, was that Dan Waters here in Canberra? Yes. Legend beer type yeah, guy. Yeah, Dan Waters, legend beer type guy. That, that, that he is. And, and also of Corrin Bank Festival. But yeah, Rat Patrol, which is where they make all these freak bikes out of old bike parts. And for a few gigs there, I got taken to shows on the back of this um, amphibious couch bike, which was like a couch on two um, dual frame bikes. And, you know, someone would sit out the front and pedal uh, and you're about six feet off the ground on this couch, by the way, as the, as the, and we'd, you know, go through the city with your guitar and turn up at the gig. And it was just <laughs> magical. Oh, they had, they had an esky under the, you know, for your beers and things. They had steer by beer technology. So to steer, you had to put the beer in the holder um, of the thing to be able to turn the vehicle and it could go on Lake Burley Griffin. It was fantastic. True Mad. proper gig memories. <laughs> oh, I, I was wondering, Jack, it, I did a little thing to your mic and I wondered if you could turn up a little bit, please. Oh, yeah, totally. Okay. I took um, the echo cancellation off and then I just... Um... How do I... Oh, yeah, okay. I just need to turn... I got it. It's all right. I'm using my yep. fancy stuff. Give me two seconds. Yeah, if you just give me a bit more gain, that'd be cool. How's that? Is that any better? Oh, that's heaps cool. Yeah, great. Excellent. I'm echoing. Who am I echoing through? This must be... Oh, that's... Is it through me? No, it's not through you. I don't have... Sorry, everybody. Are your headphones plugged in, Jackie? Yeah. Is that better? Hello, how are you, how are you going? Oh, that's I'm better, good. yeah. Yeah. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Cool. Um... Yeah, I think that's better. That's a better volume. Yeah, I had to. I took something off when we, when I took something off the echo cancellation because it it. Uh, if anybody who's listening and wants to know, I did a little workshop today. Is um, um, when you're singing online, if you uh, have that on, it limits the sound and it makes it go all crackly. So um, so when you started the song, I I pressed that off, but it meant you were a bit quieter, but not crackly. So uh -huh. that's cool. Yeah, there's right. secret techniques for anybody wanting to know. <laughs> Melanie, Melanie Horsnell, secret ninja. Button presser. <laughs> You're my go-to. Hey. Hey, hey, Cara. Hey, Cara. Hey. I just, Cara's this amazing, um, we've started a thing called Women in the Mix and it's going to be teaching things um, about um, how to do sound and things like that. So we're going to be running um, workshops for women so they can record themselves at home, that they can, for whatever projects they want to do. So, so hi, Cara, it's so nice to, like, see you. I called her up and I'm like, I don't know how this is going to work tonight, but I'm so glad you had this wonderful thing set up because I was like, <laughs> what's it going through? But, Melanie, you don't need any Melanie's help. Melanie's all over it. I mean, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, like, just so you know, tomorrow Melanie's going to help me fix my car. <laughs> On the phone. Right, on the phone. Because <laughs> I've let a few. There should be a show go. called "What Can't Melanie Do?" Yeah. <laughs> Stuff 
Melanie has learned by being a single mother of two young girls and a touring musician. Hello. Shout out to single mamas. <laughs> we got to call this a single mum party. Yeah. <laughs> I like to call it so, cuz we're so mummers, you know, we're so so mummers. Yeah, we're like so, I like yeah. That. Yeah, I prefer that. Thank you, Elena. That's really really dignified. <laughs> and and, and, and English, so spiritual. But... I live in Byron Bay, so it makes me really spiritual. Oh, I even have spiritual birch and muesli, so spiritual. Um, what, what, do you get it from the spiritual IGA section? You know the. We, uh, I get it from like a, I get it from the spiritual ayahuasca people. Oh, now you're talking. <laughs> yeah, woo! Super oh, spiritual. My goddess. <laughs> That's exactly right. Namaste, namaste, everyone. Namaste. <laughs> Nama- no, namaste. <laughs> namaste. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh the hurts. Jeff, Jeff Tron in there. Yay, music, everybody. Hey. I'm gonna play I'm gonna play a song about women and and Mum Chun when she knocked down the ladies. Cool. I'm gonna I'll play a song called This Woman because it's called This Woman and you know, I'm just riding the vibe, man. Alright. I'll see see you in a second. I'll put you over here. Okay. <clears throat>
Yay. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, Thank well. you. Far out. Well, you, got, you got your hair out, Marshall. Woo. I know. I know. It looks nice. I, just, I had a moment where like, my was I was suffering for these earrings that you can't really see. Hello. Oh, they're spanky pretty. Yeah, they were kind of like um, they were attacking me at you know some special point that's probably got significance in Chinese acupuncture. Anyway, <laughs> it, just, um, <laughs> it hurt. Sorry, I know you can't see me there. I haven't quite worked out my lighting game. Clearly, I'm not a pro. It like looks. Email. No, it looks good. You look good. Hang on, do that again because I'm going to take a picture. I'll take a picture of everybody. Everybody smile. Oh, this is my life. <laughs> you, you're, spa you're both sparkling. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I did that because of her, Mel. I mean, I'm pointing at oh. her on the screen. You. I'm just, you. I'm just like, being embarrassed. Like, that must be a thing. So I'm going to do it, you know. <laughs> Personals all over this shit. <laughs> the thing is, like, no matter what you do, like, if you just like chuck like, you know, um, some twinkles down, you're like, oh, it's cool. Like, I've, I've actually got my it's check true. pants. Oh, good girl. Yeah, I'm all. I but I've got my. Of... But I'm all. But it's all shimmery on top. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The girls. Are... You wore tracky dacks to date night, which makes me love you even more. I didn't think it was possible. Now I'm like, oh my gosh, that means we could just like, you know, Netflix and chill later, maybe. And, and then like, and then like, you know, no, no shoes. Like, just I'm already ready. I'm ready. Oh Jesus, so Melanie! Ready. <laughs> I was born ready. Yeah. You were born ready. You were born ready. Oh, I love you. Oh, honey, honey. I, I jumped in the Bruns River to get ready because I was like all oh, like oh, from being girl. tired. Yeah. So I jumped in the river, but I was like, I'm not messing my hair up. So I could jump to here, <laughs> like keeping keeping oh, my hair sorry. fluffy for the show, the date night. Hello, I'm so excited because I haven't had a hot date for so long, and now I've got like a hot date with like the hottest like <laughs> Brisbane and Candler's favorite daughters. Like, <laughs> I know. Look oh, look, you know, I think it's lovely that we share ourselves so fully online because, you know, there's only one of us and there's so many of them. They just don't like it. And, uh, you know, it's, a, it's an important public service that we're doing, sharing our spirit, our talents with the world. We're <laughs> such good people, actually. We're we should have a board written for us. <laughs> Honestly, uh, um, uh, yeah, it's it, it is a we're not none of us are backward in coming forward, are we? That's it. Well, I mean, I'm 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 very shy. It, you know? <laughs> yeah, Mel, we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you know, this would be so much fun if we could get everyone on here. Get Lucy Thorne and Katie Oliver and all, all the rest. Yay! <laughs> Glennie and Katie. Glennie. We can do that. Yeah, last time I was meant to do a show with you three, with you two was when I was meant, I think, Candlelight, and I was meant to come down and I got sick. Oh, didn't you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. You know, I'm I think, so I think bummed they're out. doing, I think they're doing Tamworth Light. Hi, everybody, by the way. Brenda, I saw your message before. Nice work on the pizza and the wine. 10 yeah. out of 10. I think they're doing Tamworth Light in January. And, um... It could be a good thing to get together down there and do sheetlers or something. It could be super fun. What do you reckon? Sheila Nackers. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I know. Oh. Bell will come up. Maybe we you? just need it. Maybe we just need like, and maybe we need one, you know, in the meantime, an online, the online ladies night where we just round up that whole lot. You know, like my, my Wednesday um, open mic, but just like all sheetlers. Oh, Sheila Nackers. Get the titters. Yeah, get the sisters there. Because yeah, yeah cool. it's um, because it's more yeah the the chest beating monkey dick shit within the music industry needs <laughs> challenging. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> Although we love our boys, yeah. they're so good. But um, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Tamworth, I know I can get a good deal on the um scout camp, and they got wallabies and stuff. And uh, oh, I'm there. Let's do it. So I love all kinds of football. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
Um, or there's Nundal. Nundal's a great little town. I love Nundal. I do love. Yes, exactly. And we know people. And Tony Swain and her wonderful stuff there. Yeah, she's been amazing. Um, unfortunately, Tony's, well, it's actually fortunate for the people of Milestone. She's out near Bellingen now, which is fabulous. Uh, so that circuit has just got a little bit more exciting. Nina's uh, Cafe down in the Milestone General Store. Shout out to it. them. Shout Do out some Nina. great. But yeah, that coastal circuit, can't, I mean, gosh, it's so exciting. I can just, I can feel the hangovers now. But um, but I just feel like, no, I don't mean that, but I in just... the old days. But it would be really fun to get, it's the, I think that's one of the things that we all really enjoy is the the seeing your friends, you know, we really, really, um, it's our life of, of, you know, being with your people and being on the road and seeing your mates and putting on shows. I mean, I know Mel's put on shows for me. I put on shows for you. We do. And we just live a really connected and present life through what we do. And yeah, it's been um, a good time to reflect on that and really treasure it and, and know that we can build it all up again very beautifully and very quickly. I think I think we're very lucky. I mean, single mums who are musicians who have stuck to it and who support each other, um, you know, because there sometimes can be sort of a bit of internalised misogyny and, you know, women competing against each other. But what's been really glorious is that that support and that just that, you know, I've just found the most extraordinary women who, um, yeah, who, who, you know, it's just about giving mad props because it's it's really tricky to navigate this system um, as 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 a woman, but let alone as a single mum. Right so I'm just like, we are. I mean, if if, not, if we do nothing else except you know help a pathway for other people, you know, yeah. then we, I think that's a that's a really great life. It really is, and you know, it's if, like exactly like the competition model is so. You know, at some point you got to learn about it and participate in it and have that whatever, but. But it's so great to be on the other side of that and have that thing where you, when one of your sisters is having a win and you're just like, yes, you know, you're just so excited for them. And just, just, it just feels so thrilling. So, yeah. Because of her, we can. Yeah, right. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Spot mm -hmm. on. Whose turn is it? <laughs> Miss Miss Harker, we're going to have a. Oh, yeah. I, I, I was about to do a different song, but now you made me want to change my mind. It's so I'm going to do a cover, um, and it's just dedicated to all the women who've had to deal with, um, yeah, just deal with the what's happened. You know, we've seen this week with um, what's happened in Sony, and I'm not going to mention any names, but a few women I know have stepped forward. Every woman I know has a story, especially within the music industry, because it's not, it, it hasn't been safe for a really long time. So um, here's to making it safer. And um, shout out to Deb Suckling. Deb Suckling. Yay, yeah. woo! Yeah. And um, yeah, this is not one of my songs, but I, I really love this song. Um, and it's written by um, two women, um, uh, um, Alice Gerard and Hazel Dixon. She's your plaything. You can make her or break her, it's true. And you abuse her, accuse her, and turn around and use her. Then forsake her anytime it suits you. And there's more of her. Powder and pain than a peroxide of bleached out hair. And if she acts that way, it's cause you've had your day. Don't put her down, you help put her there. And she hangs around. She's playing the clown 
while the soul is aching inside and she's heartbreaks child she just lives for your smile to build her up in this world made by man and there's more to her than powder and pain than a peroxide of bleached out hair and if she acts that way it's cause you've had your day don't put her down you help put her house down the way where you sneak in and pay for her love or her body or her shame and then you call yourself a man and say you just don't understand how a woman could turn out that way but there's more to powder and paint than the men she picks up at the bar and if she acts that way it's cause you've had your day don't put her down you help put her there don't put her down you help put her there. Ah. Hazel Dixon, Alice Gerard, amazing. They were like amazing. they did amazing songs about the union and coal miners and well before we knew coal was really bad. But yeah. 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 <laughs> before we... <laughs> Pulling your coals out. I mean, there's good coal and then there's bad coal, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> apparently. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> you can see that today. Like, oh, what's his name? Dan Illitz, who did the billboard in Times Square for 10 minutes, shaming Scott Morrison on um, his position on climate change. So fantastic. He did a GoFundMe. Wow. Just so I could do some ads, basically, cheeky ads, silly ones. There's a piss take on the Crocodile Dundee. It's like um, coal-fired something Dundee. I don't know, whatever. And um, But, yeah, in Times Square, and it's just blown up. It's great. Shaming Scott wow. Morrison and Australia. But, hey, you know, you got to take the hit. But, uh, <laughs> I just thought, yeah, anyway. We've got oh, such yeah. great natural resources here. So we should bloody use them instead of, like, you know, this, yeah. It's ridiculous. I know. I know. I know. Yep. It's We're all on the same you page. Know what? But vibrationally, you know, this is one of the things I had, a, and it's good to have this conversation in a public forum. Uh, one of the things that has been interesting, sorry, my computer's doing weird stuff, so I'm telling it what to do. Um, one of the interesting things that's been uh, come to my awareness and that I've sort of learned, I guess, in recent years is that. Uh, or learned properly. I mean, we've all heard the phrase, you know, energy goes where attention flows and that thing that, you know, if you put your focus on it, it grows bigger. So around about the time when the Stop Adani campaign came out and you all saw those stop signs and that kind of thing, which is, you know, it's incredibly important that those things don't go ahead. I completely agree. Uh, however, I really felt physically that it was giving energy to the minds in in this sort of pushing against and attention. And I felt like, I don't know, there's, there has to be another model where we can successfully make sure that things like the Adani mind don't go in, but that, I mean, with, I mean, I know I'm stating the obvious, but that we can energetically focus on creating alternatives. I, I think, I don't know, I've been in front, you know, I've been on, you know, I was at Jabaluka and I've been, in, you know, at, you know, I was at Baxter when they had the refugees there and, you know, I was on the ground as an activist and had this, have kind of realised that 
there'll always be a place for people on the ground but I think there's a there's a there's an energetic thing that happens where we really need to just be flowing into the positive stories and the narrative of the good you know and we see it in media all the time it's so they make all their money out of making us afraid of you know the liberals or the labor or this or whatever's going on and I just don't think that it's particularly helpful for people to be living in that fear paradigm I think that it's really important that we keep speaking to narratives of where things are working and the well-being of people and the well-being of communities and success and that kind of thing so that's my two cents on that <laughs> so I really um I think it's really important that we start shifting and stop stop giving airtime to the push against not stop entirely of course it's a gentle exchange but really that because if you sit in well-being, you create more well-being vibrationally. It's just, it works from a personal level and it works in a community level. So that's my two cents. I'll stop being political. I'll shut up. Sorry. I think, <laughs> yeah, I think, oh, I was just going to say that it's really important to like activism is lots of different types of things, but I do really, really agree with you that like that kind of making sure that there are there are solutions and outcomes. And I love this idea. So a little while ago, I heard this poem by an amazing Sikh um, woman and she talked about breathe and push and a lot a lot of our activism that we have is based on this kind of patriarchal colonial model which is about kind of like fighting and going against and so this idea that we have especially we've all given birth like this idea that um that we've been through a process where we've had to breathe and push and breathe and push we've had to resist we've had to go through transition we've had to like feel like we that we were going to die and that you know this would never it would never end and that and then what gave what came out of that? And I think transferring these ideas of activism onto kind of, I won't say feminine because I don't use that word, but I think more of like the the, the skill set that um you know the the people who give birth have you know, and that idea that you know you breathe and push, breathe and push. And so my activism is like making sure that it also comes in breathe and push. Oh, ah, beautiful. Thank you so yes. Much for that. <laughs> I, I really we'll talk it later but thank you yeah yeah, yeah. yay yeah. i love my titters i love my titters <laughs> <laughs> and what's the what's the sikh woman's name you i can't remember but you know what i'll send it to everyone it's the most phenomenal poem and it just like oh. blew my mind please It'll decolonize the mind de depatriarchalize it yeah thank you that is just <laughs> Spot on. Yeah. I mean, for me, yeah, but, but yeah, <laughs> thank you. Wow. I'll take it. <laughs> I, I was, <laughs> the, um, that's like the perfect, perfect roll on. We should, we, maybe we should have a Marshall song to follow that up. What do you reckon? Oh yeah. Well, Titter Town, I am, um, you know, of course, cause I, you know, really prepared for this. Um, uh, I, uh, uh, one of my, favorite Australian artists is Sarah Carroll she's a writer uh yeah we you know and fantastic writer and deliverer of material she's just kind of next level in the way that she brings things together and um uh, she's been in bands like the Dunes or the Cartridge Family Git as well uh touring around the country uh she's she has a musical family um you know, both her sons are incredible musicians. Her husband, who's passed on, was an incredible blues musician. But Sarah Carroll, in her own right, is a majestic creature of music making. And I, um, I, she, she has written and put out great albums. I and which, ladies and gentlemen, can find on Spotify. Uh, but I just found this song today and it really is a, just a song of appreciating your your buddy your mate you know your girlfriend so it's just there's just all the unspoken things so she wrote this lovely song and I'm, I'm relearning it I know they say never complain never explain so I won't we'll just see how it goes shall we <laughs> sorry <laughs> hydration of a nation okay so the song is called The Way We Talk and it's written by Sarah Carroll. I'll get my headphones off. Oh, okay. I'm going to put this 
over here because I feel like I'm kind of singing to a sheet of paper and I'd rather sing a bit more to you guys. I love the way we talk. And did the jazz program. I had no idea. I was in there with all these heavyweight musos and I was completely untrained. I got in there on like, you know, some kind of miracle. But so I was in amongst all of these monsters and there was this one girl I remember who'd come down from central Queensland and she loved her country music and she was getting into the jazz thing. And um and uh and she and she was just like, There's just no way for country music and jazz to come together. There isn't. There's just no <laughs> way. And like, and she was also like, you know, yeah. And like, cause it was big hip hop times, you know, like 1998 or something. It's like, nah, country and rap equals crap. Like, <laughs> she was so funny. I love her and I wish I could remember her name. But you know, it's been, it's obviously been in the back of my mind for a really long time. And I'm an improviser. Anybody that knows that comes to my shows knows that I move around the melody and Nothing's sung the same way twice, and it's all about the feeling in the moment. But the the jazz yodel is something that I'm like, you know, <laughs> I've been working on unconsciously for a long time, and I feel its time is nigh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Sarah John ran there and said, "Marshall, don't forget you helped." Hey, there you go. Sorry. Sarah's chimed in there. Marshall, don't forget you helped. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sarah, yay. Oh, yeah. Well, yay! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you taught me how to yodel, yodel. Yeah. <laughs> the jazz yodel is worth a lot, you know. <laughs> oh, man. So you're going to say you have to make it the jazz country hip hop record. Man, uh, this got to be. I'll skip the hip hop. I'll leave that to the brothers. But, um, you know, like. I'll, uh, I can put beats on the man like I got beats here. I just put beats on the stuff. 
Oh, yeah. Where did you come from? Where did you yeah. go? Where did you come from, Carnage? Oh, oh, remember God. that? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I went from hip hop to country. That was my like musical well, transition. You know, we're of that that you know like I yeah, was, like, I remember the, it. The chick singer called in to do stuff with um oh God, I can't even the visitors and those bands that kind of thing where you know call in a chick singer. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just making it up, but. But yeah, and they have all that hip hop and beats and that kind of thing. And, and you're just finding your feet. I'm so glad that we didn't, we just missed like social media, Facebook, all of that stuff, because that was, yes. that was so great to not have a watching eye on your personal development as an artist. You know, you just, yeah, it really came in and it came in right around the time where I did my first album, which was perfect. It was like, great. Yeah, I feel fully formed. I'm ready to put an album out. I'm 29. I'm doing my Saturn return. I'm cool. You know, like I'm, I'm ready. I think I'm grown up now and I'm ready to make real music and such a great thing to have not had Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. In development stage, you know. Yeah, I remember going to live hip hop. I'd go to like just battles where I'd just get grab the microphone and just like That's start man. rhyming. And like I would just was like I was like you twenty. So great. I, was, I was like twenty three. Yeah. I had a I had a two year old on my hip. Yeah, you like just amazing. going like rah, you know, like just just giving oh, it. Man. I'm so gonna make a song. I need you. I need you both. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna do it. I, and I, I and love. I need rap. I believe I love the I still I still love my um my rapid fire hip hop. Still got it, kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a retro <laughs> hip hop album when we're eighty. Whoever's still it's, around. It's, it, it's a it's a, <laughs> it, it's the the soul mothers. We're gonna make yeah. it like a, a we're gonna make like a a uh, an EP called Soul Mothers, and it's yeah. I've got a song. Up. Ready? Jazz and No, it's and called Bible. Wobble. Let me hear you wobble, mama. Wobble, mama. Mm, mm, mm. It's all yes. about mama's wobbling. Wobbling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We're ready. We're ready to rock. <laughs> Still relevant? I think, I think the world is ready, personally. <laughs> the world is so ready, man. Like, they they, you know, they're ready. They're ready to take this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, calm down. Karen's like, attitude. I was trying to write, like, I was trying to like think of a song to play next, and it's like it's not really helping. <laughs> no, I can't. Sorry. I can't think of like. I'm like, I want to play like a pop song. I haven't written one yet. So, so um, I I, I um. I, th I think I'll play like one of the ones off my second record, like, which is, you know, girly, girly wishing. Is that okay if I just do some girly oh, wishing for a second? Yeah, because that's who, it's also a beautiful part it's of it. It's all part of it. Yeah, it's yeah. how we create the This is 29. Want. <gasps> this is 29. What you just said before. Okay, 29. <gasps> um, all right, go on, go on. Yeah, 29. I don't know. I haven't played it in a really long time, so we'll just see what happens. But it's okay. It's just, I just thought, you know. I'd go there. Let's go Please there. Do. 29 was a good year, by the way. So, um, yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Season a second. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, I'll just have a go at this. Okay, I've got, um, I think I put it up here, but I don't know if I did that up here or not. Uncertainty, Monday morning lunchroom, pop philosophy, magazine trends indicate to me, buying and selling dangerous. Don't move so fast, so you have Friday confidence. Now you can tell me that you've made a mess. Come on, girl, you clean up pretty fast. Mary, Mary, she's always ready, she's always waiting, always waiting for more. Some lover who will take her over, who will take her over, or just leave a number. He'll 
break your heart. Yeah, that's what you want from the start. Try to believe it won't may seem hard. But come on, girl, you believe everything. Just be yourself. You're something else. Turn up for the show. She's always waiting, always waiting for some lover who will take her over, who will take her over, just leave her number. Mary, Mary, she's always ready, she's always waiting, always waiting for some lover who will take her over, who will take her over, just leave her number. Sing sitting down actually. <laughs> you need to like be up and yeah, you, you know, do, breathing. You yeah, need, yeah, you need to be stamping, going, Mary, Mary, it's always yeah. ready. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. I haven't oh, had thanks, for so long. Richard. I had a you said, bit of a tear. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I know, because what's funny is I, I remember making the, um, so I made the album before I was pregnant with Gypsy and then I went and while I was pregnant with Gypsy and and so I released a baby and an album at the same time which is not so cool because I kind of focus on the baby more than the album but uh <laughs> I love that record I love that record so much like and so That's I reckon I, I need to like re-release it as not re-release it but kind of just release it because it never you should release it really... for Gypsy's 21st birthday okay you're right deal yeah. I love the I love it. You like well, I, I focused on the like the baby more than the album. It's like, oh, <laughs> God, what were you thinking? Sorry. I know. I was just like, oh my God, I love her. I love her. What? I got I, I got a, offered a record deal in France, and I was like, oh no, I, my son didn't want to go, and I was like, I can't. I've got to like you know, I've got to be a mom. And people are like, you'll never get this opportunity again. I'm like, like I'm never gonna have a like my I'm not gonna watch my baby kids grow up. <laughs> Like, I was like, you dickheads? Like, where's your value yeah, system? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's yeah, like, yeah, this yeah. is. So I remember the first time I saw you play, Melanie. Um, I remember both of the times I saw both of you play. Melanie, I saw you play at Rick's. And you're, um, you had the same sticker on your album. And I went up to you afterwards. And I think I was with... Um, I was with a, a friend of mine, Naomi, and we were both like, we were just enthralled with you and we sent you like little fan notes. We were like, you're the best and we bought your album and I still have it. And Jackie, I saw you play at the, um, you just did this wonderful, really, I'd seen you play at parties, but the first gig that I saw you play was, at, it, was um, it was sort of the powerhouse, but it was like, oh. I think it just, when it just opened again. Right. Yeah. Okay. At the turn You'd off. just come back from overseas and your hair was different. Oh, you were like, Italian. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah, you know that thing when you go to Europe and you go, oh, I'm doing my hair wrong. I need to do it like these people. Yeah. 
You come back with European hair. <laughs> and you've got a European yeah. accent because you sort of say, how do you say this? Like, I've just been in Europe for so long now. Oh, no, I just no, forgot no. how to so say funny. I'm really, like, happy it now. It does burn your head, though, <laughs> speaking when you're in, like, you know, when you've been speaking German or whatever for, and then you're just like, I can't. Can somebody please find my English tongue? You know? Yeah. <laughs> it is a thing, but it's, like, but it's also, like, just fun because you just – it's so fresh, especially when you, you know, when you first go abroad because we're not, you know, it's an interesting thing being Australians and being this island nation that has this sort of colonial English perspective where we don't necessarily feel connected to our neighbours and different language groups, all the language groups within our own country, you know, and so there's this just English language. We don't speak, you know, we don't, um, Which hey. country are you on now? I'm on Banjilang, Jingiwala. Oh, hey, I'm on a Turbo Yagara. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you win. You win, Nation. So you win, Nation. It, yeah. yeah it's, and it's funny because, like, I, I took the when I took the girls to Europe, um, because I were two and four, right? Oh, that's and right. So, I remember. Yeah, oh, God, and that so was insane. The, I can't believe so you I did took that. The, but. And so we were just like traveling around and, you know, we'd go from one country to the other country and we'd make shows. So what was interesting, right, because they're tiny, they've got no like outside opinion. When we came back to Australia and we'd travel for a certain amount of time, they'd say, what country are we on now, mum? No. Because, because it suddenly Perfect. made sense that like obviously you would change country now because that's how far yeah. it would be to to be a new set of people who have a different idea to the people that were in the place before right i was so. thinking that exact thought today just going because i think it because i've just been out in the territory and you know you cross a lot of countries and language groups as you fly out there you know like it's you know <laughs> at least well more than 300 language groups in the i mean there's it blows my mind but um the, yeah, I was just thinking exactly that thought today, just going, you know, because it was walking people. So it's not like you can like drive across or fly across, you know, 40 countries in one day. Like you're yeah. walking across one person's country over two days or one mob's country, you know, like, and yeah. so there is that. We don't, we just don't have that. Uh, it'd be so great. I think people need to understand distance as a walking person as opposed to a you know having the big silver bird you know yeah yeah and then because like you know like in france like one village to the next village there's, there's a language change there's you a know, language it's just, well slovenia you yeah know, that i go back to as often as i can has 300 language groups in the space of like 300 kilometers you know yeah yeah right it's like mountainous yeah. country it's nuts like same with Papua New Guinea. Often mountainous countries oh, are like yeah, that. Mountain countries. Yeah. So, so that there's a, I think it was in uh, Guns, Gems, and Steel. Okay. So I have a challenge for everyone watching. I just want. I've just been reading the comments. Hi everyone. Um. So I, a friend and I, and um, his daughter are going to learn um all like because I've been learning all the countries of the world using this um map thing called Sotera and like you know, so that's been oh, cool. You know, fun during um lockdown, and so I want to learn all the countries. Uh, um. In Australia, so I think we should have like a challenge to learn, like you know. So there was a song that was put out recently that was really cool that had all the countries, but it'd be great to kind of learn that. So when we go on, especially when we go on tour, one of the things I love doing is like you know, same kind of yeah. grounding down, yeah, yeah and just asking permission to be there, and honoring. Oh my god, I love you. That is yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, I put the what challenge do do? out. That's, but it's funny when you're ah. on tour because you know that the country changes and you're like, I know I've gone from, you know, up here, Bundjalung, all the different nations along the Gold Coast and then especially going out to Tamworth and you're getting into Camilleroy and all of that and you just feel it and you're like, you know, I come in peace. You know? <laughs> yeah, Camilleroy country always gets me. I'm just me. like, it's well, almost like you can hear the, yeah. all right. Yeah. You can hear the, like you're up here and then it goes, it just drops down. Like you can almost hear that. Ooh. And then once you're in Pilliga, like, oh, okay, we'll chat about it during later. We'll talk about it. Yeah. yeah. Oh my Ooh, gosh, we need to do a tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but, but the punters would be so annoyed because we do it in the round and you'd just be talking the whole time. Going... <laughs> Although 
it works for Annabelle Crab and Lee Sale. So what the hell, yeah. you know? There is well, a, a podcast, by the way, guys. Well done. <laughs> Richard just put it. Richard just put a link up, but I, it's quite long. But I do actually have an app as well that that changes country as you change country. Yeah, and uh, well, and and that's quite cool um, to just you know to let that occur as you as you're going for a drive, um, and you learn something new as you're driving along. Um, that's it. The thing oh, is, no, I, is, just, is, is, I just went looking for the, the app. app. <laughs> it's like I know I've got it here somewhere. Yeah, I've got it in since the... we've been on tour. Belly, what are you going <laughs> to play for us? Oh, what are you going to play for us? What's your song? Elena, you're going to play. Oh, oh I'm going to play. Oh, sorry. It's Elena. My God. That's all right. Um, I, <laughs> I'm i just going to do this little song that, um, yeah, it's it's just about having different types of families. You know, being single parents, I know that, but I've just got this small poem beforehand. So they're both very small little ditties. So I just thought I'd, I'd talk, to, I'd talk about this song, like the idea that we're leaves in the wind. A small breeze danced a leaf in joy and indifference, carrying the warmth of summer lazily on scented swirls. Around a mottled creek, kissing drunk dragonflies upon their shimmering skins, the wind breathed and bored. Down the mountainside, lapping at the heels of heat, spinning and careening, fresh, dark loin forest air. This delightful embrace turned into, onto, and upon in momentous turmoil, heaving gales at the sea, and from the smash and bash of wrecked ships and bones, a small, invisible zephyr remembers. Once it gently danced a leaf. All right, so that's going to lead into this next song. <laughs> It's like that idea that's like that whole like the butterfly causing a typhoon in armadale this goes out to all the people who supported me um i get um episodic depression and um it can really fuck me up and so it's been amazing to have the support that i've had i was broken and abused Turned out and confused You lifted my head gently Told me you had and you said you're in it for the long haul You're in it for the long haul Over mountains and hills Through our life's thrills and spills It's a long haul And I know that I fucked up yeah, I know that I've done wrong That you always pull me up And together we sing along We're in it for the long haul Yeah, we're in it for the long haul Over mountains and hills Through all life's thrills and spills It's a long This family that we got sure is a wonky one, but we patch it up proper. Whenever it's undone, we're in it for the long haul. We're in it for the long haul. Over mountains and hills, through all life's thrills and spills, it's a long haul. You're in it for the long haul. We're in it for the long haul. Over mountains and hills, through all life's thrills and spills, it's a long haul. <laughs> oh my goodness so beautiful yeah i love that, that sentiment yeah we're i love the idea especially with touring and driving if you're just like we're in it for the long haul in it for the long haul it's so true yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's beautiful and, and, and yeah. relaxing <laughs> oh yeah, good yeah place. <laughs> jeff chimed in awesome you okay yeah <laughs> 
Oh, because it's Mental Health Month, so it's all about, yeah. you know, sharing and sharing about feelings and destigmatizing kind of stuff yeah. around mental health. So right, right, I think right, it's really right. important we do it. And people to remember, even though you feel really alone, you're not alone. You can get help if you need. You can get Oh, help Deb Suckling's on the line. Hi, Deb. Yay. We did I a shout out to you already. Deb. Hi, Deb. See you tomorrow. Yeah, she did a shout out. <laughs> 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 so good. Oh wow! Yeah. That's all right. Who's fun. next? It's you. It's you, Marshall, Jackie, isn't Marshall, it? Marshall, okay, I know. Me. Sorry, I'm all confused now. I've just had that. Oh look, here, kiss. I've had like a lot of views too. <laughs> um. Well. Uh. Yeah, you totally. So on Tuesday, I did this beautiful uh, private gig. Oh, Deb's talking at the screen. Of course you are. <laughs> Girls, what are you talking about? Deb, you'll love this. I did this show on Tuesday night. It was a private show um, uh, called for uh, an international uh, arts awards ceremony for called Out from the Mist. And it was about... Um, they're all photographers and short filmmakers who have lived experience of mental illness, who are high functioning professional artists around the world. So it's a really prestigious prize, incredible exhibition of work. And I, I jumped on the opportunity to do the show, uh, you know, and yes, it is mental, um, mental health awareness, um week and we do need to talk about it and so oh my god we're just doing the perfect segues aren't we it's great <laughs> but so alona i thought i'd follow you up with a similarly kind of reflective one i'm just we're just bringing the, it's like that three quarter bring the vibe into a zone kind of moment isn't it so i thought i'd do a song um called see a dog which is a song i wrote in my 20s because i used to before I, I didn't get any help for my mental health stuff until after I'd had my son. I had a, like a very a long story and not unfamiliar, but that, you know, you just sort of grit your teeth and get through it. Um, so, and I just didn't think that I was one of those people, but then I, I you know, your life is in danger and all sorts of stuff. But I, um, I uh, wrote this song because I, I, at one stage there for a few years, you know, when things were just getting crazy, I'd just go off the radar and just hitchhike out somewhere and just see what would happen, you know, go out to Western Queensland or do a run. And it was like this hitchhiking for mental health because suddenly you've just, um, you know, and like, you know, I, I'd, <laughs> it was crazy. Like, you know, I had gigs great gigs with amazing international artists and I just wouldn't show up for the support slot, you know, and because I couldn't, I wasn't in the right place to do it. And, um, and I'd go off on these missions just, and it was just moment to moment meeting the people and being with them in front of you. And, and I know, you know, that I, a lot of people who've had similar experiences find their own way of doing that kind of thing where you just draw a line and you go off the radar and you anyway so this song is called see a dog and it is about walking away from reality and just hitchhiking and seeing what you find anyway i'm just gonna take my headphones off da, 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 da. Ah, so much better oh it's good to have your hair out too I often feel like it's torture. Anyway. All right. Don't forget where you were coming from 
Now grit your teeth Now let them loose Cut the ties Get you in a noose Quit your caboose Thumb and lift out on the road When you don't know nothing and nothing can earn you and the truck south through the hills get some clean air three gills run some water through your tank clean out the booze and the pills now feel good in your skin Lord it's not an unholy state Curve your losses, baby Stitch your faith Now you're looking out on that range Divvy up what you've got left And leave yourself undivided as To what you've got left to work with Now set your mind on a simple goal and stop being unkind on your embattled soul see a dog throw a bone cut your losses babe remember where you're coming from Just what a what a amazing song. Don't be unkind to your, you know, embattled soul. Like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I, I didn't realise it until important. until I, I didn't realise it, but I, I you started singing and then I, I went like this, so this is like I was like <laughs> yeah. I didn't realise I, I was rocking. Like you yeah. do that thing, you just rock. Self nurture, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You do that with babies, and you just rock. Yeah. yeah. Thanks so Thank much. Uh, yeah. Well, it's for us because it's real, and we got to talk about it and live it. And yeah. Allow those emotions. You know, we do. Mm. And uh, you know, the time. I mean, it's cool. Shame is fine. You know, and it, it is. A, it's a thing. But uh, um, you gotta let it. You gotta allow yourself to process it and release it, and allow yourself to be, you know. And like Eleni, you're probably the same. Where we kind of we've got these skills now. Where yeah, we get totally annihilated by what happens. But there's these cool skills that you're like, oh, and then it kicks in, and then you're back, you know. Well. Yeah, I've got like little books that I have to because my because I get so dark that it just yeah. and all the lights go out that I don't know how to do the things that, that I normally know how to do. So yeah. I have to go back to these kind of like I call it my mad map and it's a map that I made, which is like call your friends, call these people. They've got all the information. And so it's just and then I have to give those people the information just so, you know, I'm that my sickness, my illness 
is is supported so like that's the thing it's just an illness it's like having diabetes it's like you know it really is on a yeah wow that's so that's far up that's really cool you know yeah and and i run a mental health hacks page called mental health hacks so it's it's a private group and and it's just it's no one sharing stories so it's not deep i mean there's a few little stories but nothing too heavy but it's just little hacks that help you get through because you know like you know it's it's good not to feel alone even though you feel really alone that's just your brain being a jerk yeah It's funny you said that you get the plan. It's like um, my, one of my mates has got us on her plan. So, so you know, we start to notice things like, like, like if uh, if she starts to post lots of memes, yes, and then yeah. and then and then uh, or doesn't you know, like answer little, any phone calls or yeah, yeah this yeah. it goes from this and this and this and then and then but she, since she's got her plan, like it she, it kicks in so early. Um, I'm like, oh wow, well, you know we and. And all of our mates can just help. To, you know, yeah, and um, it's really good to have that. And as soon as you destigmatize and have these conversations, people can write their own plan and they can look yeah, for their warning signs and also their triggers because I get yeah. triggers and then warning signs kick in, which is like I don't yeah, sleep. Like, I start, yeah. She's like the boss of it now. Like how mad is Yay! that? Like she is so like the boss. Before it was like not the boss and now it's just like trigger, trigger. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. I'll fix that now. What a That's how amazing. flame and brilliant, like brilliant, you know, and also just having the right people yeah. who are on your team. So, yeah, everyone yeah. knows, and it, it never even gets to us really because it's already she already gets to take care of it before then, which is so yeah. cool. what a legend, yeah, legend, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think I think that's it, and finding safe people to talk to about it because not everyone ha- is like. Um, has you know their mental health first aid or understands about it and and they can have their own stuff going on and so like finding safe people and that can be tricky but yeah so i'm a big fan of therapy (laughs) (laughs) as you can tell (laughs) (laughs) i'll see myself out (laughs) (laughs) all right what have we got next well, I was thinking, of, actually, because of because of Marshall's song, and but then I was just thinking, okay, so one night we had a cracker night where Marshall and Woo. Lucy Thorne and I were sitting around the table and drinking white yeah. wine, which is always dangerous. And and I played this song to them, and I'd just written it, and they did giggle at me quite a lot. But it's like because oh. it's like the saddest song in the year. <laughs> They're like, I'm like, it's not about me, and they're like, oh, it's so about you, and I'm like, it's not about me, and they, but they just cracked up so hard. So, so I thought I'd contribute oh my to God, that. I remember that night. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, the only way is up. So you know, that's all we've got to yeah. go. Bring it on. Okay, we'll go. We'll go there. It's it's a lament. It's a proper lament. It it, it uh, does what laments do. So cool. I'll play this. Please. <laughs> I am a forgotten woman I drive all night searching from town to town The story is old and broken You've read it a hundred times in country magazine Sorry To children I have been told my wings to safely be retired. They are my suffering small angels. Every day they listen to them, I'm a cry. When I'm looking for love. It must be somewhere. There must be some left. Someone like me in a nice clean home. I grew Dragons you ever fear. Fairy tales are lived on. Imaginary lovers in my ear. But I never imagined the way that people would throw their looks at me. The sky 
scarred like a ragdoll, a lonely hearted remnant of society. I'm looking for love, it must be somewhere, there must be somewhere for someone like me. I'm looking for love, it must be somewhere. Be some Must be so annoying for everyone, but it is such a great song. <laughs> no, look, no, but look, wherever there's like love, look at this, there's love hats and everything. Oh. Look, look, love hats. Oh, <laughs> Thanks, Amber. And, 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 and so... Deb loves me too. I love you too. She is. <laughs> just see, but I'm looking for love and that beautiful lilt that you had on that. Like, oh, oh it just Doesn't totally it melted me. <laughs> and, oh. like... Unbelievably good. <laughs> It was, it was super funny yeah. to like play on that night with like and and I and I and I set it up like it's not about me it's about this and this and this and this and this and they just laughed they cracked he's cracked up I and I could like it was like, it was so funny and so awesome like to um I, I mean I did write it for a play but it's you know all good all things we do we we pull out of our, our ourselves so, yeah it's so it's it's like um it's cool it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, but it's know, it was I'm about so a friend, right? and, yeah. and it was and it was about a it was about a friend. Yeah, like what was yeah. really funny. Um, what was it was funny. Um, well, it was it was for a play, right? And it's about this character from it was Phil Marty's um, great grandmother or something. No, great right. uh, great aunt, I think it was. And she was, I think it was about nineteen fourteen or something like that. She was a single mum with two children, and and you know, there's this sort of difficult part where she's in Australia and then she ends up moving to Sri Lanka and meets a really beautiful man who's who, who who's a partner for life and so the the musical that we were writing in our Candle Songwriters Club was was that whole journey but as per wow. usual I picked the area where it was the sad you had the bit. expertise <laughs> <laughs> sad songs make me happy <laughs> Sad songs make me happy. Really great. Sad songs make me happy. I hate yeah. I hate toxic positivity. I was in like because I live in an area where everyone's like, don't go into darkness, and I'm like, get into oh, the darkness. No, because it's spiritual bypassing, man. You yeah. can't do that. You gotta like you know own your darkness. You know. Yeah, they don't it, do it, their it, shadow work. Shadow well, work. It's Thank funny because. It's funny because like the other the other week I was in the hospital, not not bad. Like I just went to the hospital because I got bitten in the bum by a spider, and the the <laughs> um the <laughs> it was cool because it was funny because it was on my bum and like I like I had to send pictures of my bum to people. It was pretty funny. Um, 
<laughs> but when I get in, like whenever I go to hospital, I like okay, look Shows at my bra on my arm now. Look at that. No, this is my other. That's that's oh. what happened to me last week. That's when I fell off the veranda. Um, oh. And once again, I ended ended up with the nurses. But um, oh, you told me that that was awful, Mel. You should I'm find so a sorry. you should find a doctor. <laughs> oh, there was a really cute one there. But anyway, um, oh. <laughs> but the point the point was that that this beautiful nurse she said to me, I told the doctor last week actually. Uh, I said there was a nurse here last time who who got angry with me when I was trying to be when I was being funny. So when I had my bum bitten by a spider, the uh, the nurse said, "Would you stop? Would you stop being funny? I don't have time for this." And I oh. and I stopped. Oh. And it, this never happens because I didn't realize I get funnier. I one I think I do it because it's they're awkward. working so hard, right? They're working right. their asses off. They're so busy, and they've got all these people, and they're all sick and grumpy. And I just wanted to, I just kind of want to light, lighten them up. Anyway, she said, "Stop it," and I said, "Okay." Right. And then. And then she said that her daughter passed away two a few weeks before, so I okay, I got that right. Um, but as soon as I stopped it, what was interesting was I actually then felt really sick, and I had heaps of pain. And I thought, hang on a second, I never knew that I did it to stop my pain at all. Okay. I I always thought it was out, you know, like a external yeah. relieving of their pain, but actually it's both. So. Totally. Um, Okay, when I yeah. saw the doctor last week for falling off the veranda, the doctor um, happily uh, joked along with along with me the entire time. Just cracked ourselves up. So right. it's, it's the all pain. good. It is. It's proper medicine because it's releasing all of those whatever the things are that it is. It's releasing the things. Alona, you probably know what the things are. But yeah, doing doing humor like humor therapy or creative therapeutic engagement with people with dementia and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, even yeah. like um, doing stuff. You know, I did my uh, like death training. Sounds weird, but like it's yeah, called yeah. Um, definitely. Yeah, and and working like work working with um, you know on being just being very real. You know, and we all know that thing of like you know that at times of great grief or when we've lost someone, and then you just get into those points where you're just hysterical and. All of those elements are really, really healing, and um, mm. yeah. But there is some really interesting stuff between um, the, the like um, neural pathways and and diversion and humour for your own pain as well. So I mean, you sit, you do it with your kids all the time. You just get them to distract, totally. and they stop feeling pain. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really astonishing. That was a very clear. That was a very clear thing that occurred, you know. And it was only a spider oh. bite, but oh, it was like it went from you know. As you'd say, two to eight in yeah in, in with one thing, right? How's That's, that? It's so. Did hilarious. you get um? Did you get any spidey powers? I, I know. Well, I have. See, I I write. Oh, wow. I've been writing spider songs and everything. She's been like, creating yeah. a web of humans. <laughs> I, I wrote I wrote a lyric once about a man's <laughs> fingers. I was watching someone. <laughs> Hey, Craig. Oh, yeah, toxic positivity. Yeah, toxic positivity. Um, but I, I wrote a lyric about watching someone, I can't remember the songwriter, but watching his hands dance like spiders on, on the threads of his guitar, just watching that. Oh, nice. You know, when you oh, watch cool. someone do that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Don't remember what that was. I've lost the song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so old. <laughs> Who's up next? Is it Jackie? It's you. Oh. What else you? Oh. Hang on. I thought Hang it was on. just me having a nana moment, but it is you, isn't it? It's you. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, you. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right, okay. All right. Um, all right, no problems again this time. But you've just inspired me. I changed the poem. I was gonna do a poem a song about, sorry, um, Black Mountain, which is near Armadale. And Armadale just had like a massive tornado oh. go through it. But I was like, oh, should I do this song about um Armadale? Mm. But um Great. I'm not going to because I don't oh. really like Armadale. <laughs> <laughs> My parents met in Armadale. My mum's my mum's buried there, but um, I, I I don't didn't have a great time in Armadale. They're not good with independent strong women there. Um, oh, red back on the toilet seat. Yeah. yeah, so <laughs> Armadale. So this song I actually wrote in Nundal, and I was on tour um, doing oh, I was doing the um, playing Jin Carter Cash for this Johnny Cash show, and um, and I took my son with me, and we it was just like everything went wrong, and I was really just feeling really, really lonely. And um, 
my son was sort of 14 and was crack. Oh no, no. So he was, he was 16 and he was cracking the shits and he didn't want to be there. And I just wanted to kind of get him out of where he was in his little bubble. But anyway, it was really, really difficult. And anyway, I wrote this song about wanting to be somewhere else. So this is for everyone who hasn't been able to travel. Oh, it's one in New York, but the sun is setting here. Oh, I wish I was in New York. Instead of sitting here And all those different stories As they drift on city breeze And all those kinds of people Who might be similar to me Well the sun just rose in power Bet it's glistening in the snow And all the lovers and the fighters As they hold each other close And all their complex stories Drift down Parisian breeze And all those kinds of people Who might be just like Imagine Jane Elliott on cello here. Oh, the streets are dark and all it's, but the music is awake. I guess drunks and little babies are also up this late. And all their soft, dark stories Midnight city breeze And those who are sleeping Oh, they might have dreams like me But in Nundle it's quiet And Sundays they could slow me down I watch those weekend wonders at the only pub in town and I imagine their life story as they drift on small town breeze and I wonder if they'd know if there was anyone for me oh it's one am in New York the sun has set down here Oh, I wish I was in New York But I'm just sitting here That's for you. Woo, woo, woo. That's, yeah, I love writing songs about Australian towns. It's my whole thing. I've got like, yeah, they love country songs, but they're all about, and by the way, that is all correct. Those times for that song are all correct. So when the sun is setting in Nundal, the sun is rising in Paris. It's, it's, um, yeah, dark in New Orleans, and, um, yeah, and it's 1 a.m. Oh. in New York. So, yeah, so I made sure it was because I care about those things. <laughs> scientific it's scientific fact there oh yeah <laughs> and there's and there's that song that wonder i forgot by the time i get to phoenix and and yes. i i heard this critique about the song and i never forgot it because it was like actually that's not correct someone oh, actually oh, they were like oh, but you would have been driving at like 430 kilometers an hour so i was like oh i'm never gonna have anyone do that it's like scientifically accurate scientifically <laughs> accurate i love that it's it's funny because, like, um, in in lockdown, I was teaching, you know, you know, homeschooling, um, Gypsy and Harmony, and uh, um, we were doing time zones, and which was quite appropriate considering I was trying to work out the global music match time 
matching of oh, yeah, people. Totally. And then it was this very funny thing. I can't remember which, what, what the subject was, which part of it we were talking about. But, you know, I was trying to explain to her that if we, if we left New York at 10 a.m. and we drove 10 hours across to Chicago, what time, and we arrive at that time, and what time would it be in New York? Like we, like it was such a fun, yeah, you know. Matt's you know it's it's Matt's stirring. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. the tour manager's, like, nightmare. Oh, <laughs> tour manager's it, timetable. It was mad that it suddenly made sense. Like it made even more sense to me just by teaching her how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I get it. Oh, man. Like, Don't you love your kids for that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell how many she can well. be our tour manager. Oh, it's Gypsy, Gypsy, yeah, yeah. Oh, so Gypsy. Now, now that she's got the yeah. mastery of time, time yeah. and time zones, she can Doesn't be. Isn't it great when your kids can do the merch desk and do a little bit of a, you know, tour, tour managing? <laughs> and she's actually really good at driving the van, so it's it's all good. Good girl. She's oh, only twelve, but it's right, okay. Cool. <laughs> I don't care. If they're capable. They're capable. I don't believe in the somebody... societal. You know, those those rules are there to stop stupid people from killing other people, but. What was quite fun was when I was, I was teaching her to drive and we were in a car park. No, we were in a camping ground that was empty in uh, or near the Pilliga, actually. And um, and we'd gone, we, she'd driven through and we'd gone out on the, on the sort of outside kind of car parky bit. And, uh, and, the, and the caretaker was this beautiful guy who'd let me borrow the, the water from the, it was Burren Junction. Let me borrow oh, the, the oh, water my, from the That's where my uncle junction. lives. That's where we've got to yeah. stay too. My, and my got, oh, man. got family there. I've, I've, I've spent yeah. lots of time at Byron Junction in the, <laughs> in the bars there. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> so it was in the spa. It was in the spa and the spa wasn't working because it's like the, cause the, cause, because it's been raining, right? So yeah. they can't actually put the spa, the hot water on because um, they had to turn the, the hole in the ground thing off. Um because it, it's the it's bore. too oh, much the of the bore. They had to turn the they had to turn the bore bath off, right? Because yeah, it's it's too much water. It's already full. The land is full yeah. of water already. Yeah, and uh, I know um, it gets its algae and stuff. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, so he had to turn it off, and so I couldn't. Mm. I could have a shower. Like he let me go and use a warm water shower. But anyway, the point was he. I'd met him in the morning, and then I'd this gypsy drive around in the van and ran around the car park, and then. We stopped to say goodbye. I was a little shy about the fact that I'd let the twelve-year-old have a go around the car park. But um, and uh, we, we said goodbye to him, and then he said, "Oh no!" Nah. I said, oh, "He said, oh yeah, this is good. Yeah, yeah. I taught my kids when they were nine and eleven to drive." And I was like, "Yes, totally. yeah." So like, you kind of like you know, especially if we're on the road on our own, and say something happens, right? Like, it's good to have a co-driver. <laughs> I think we we know, but it's like exactly like you've got to have. I just you know. Yes, we have laws for certain reasons, but that doesn't mean that your kids can't develop. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. Ahead of the licensing regime, you know. I mean, like my yeah, yeah. my mum and dad are both from the land, you know. Yeah. That yeah. Kind of thing like proper. You go up in the bush. You learn how to drive a car early. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, my mum yeah. had a phone book on the pedal so she could reach it at five so that she could drive along while my grandfather was throwing shit off the back of the truck to feed the things, you know. like Oh, you're really, mad. You yeah, 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 yeah. you got to do know, it, right? All of that stuff. And I just think, like, oh, no, you can't do it. Oh, it just makes for nervous energy. you got to just, like, yeah. I reckon you could have a go at that right now. Beauty, you know. It means that she's going to be a cracker flaming driver, eh? Like, that's how good Work. they're going to be. Right, she's when ready. they get to the right yeah. age, you're ready. She's, yeah, and she's calm. Into she's into it. Don't make them do yeah. it. But if they're into it, great. Yeah, you know, totally. <laughs> um, uh, where are we at? You at you now? You. Oh God. Okay. Um. Uh, I reckon we'll. I was thinking we we'll do this one, and then we'll go around one more time. Okay, so two more good? songs for me. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah, because it must be late where you guys are. It's only it's not. We've we've been talking about ages. <laughs> this is the most basic ever. That's what it is. is this the biggest? Is this like you This is a podcast. We can we can edit it down too because I actually record this and I get the audio as well. So you know. Brilliant. <laughs> well, please just to omit anything unsavory I may have evinced from my. You know. <laughs> Nothing yet, but you know, you got time. Oh god, <laughs> time. Yeah, I know. It's like the boundaries. 
If only I'd been drinking wine all night, it'd be perfect. Anyway, but no, <laughs> I, I'm a well-behaved young lady these days. Um, right, well, moderately well-behaved. Uh, well-behaved in public most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> all these disclaimers, Jackie. Well, good. Mm. <laughs> I was just thinking, because I know he's listening, you know. I, don't, I mean, I know. He's <laughs> and they're all just good bullshit, you know. <laughs> it's just like, oh, sorry. I'm human and I need to be loved just like everybody else does. <laughs> um, so I'm doing this project called, this is totally, I didn't plan, <laughs> plan this for the project. Mel helped me with the social media for this two years ago. This project's called Songs from the Start because... I taught myself how to play, as we mostly, all of us did really, but, um, you know, my parents are from the land, they moved to the city, they had straight jobs, they were into cricket and footy and all of that kind of thing. There was no music is what I want to say. And then I had this moment because my neighbor's dad was a hippie and he had a guitar with charts for Joan Bayers and Joni Mitchell and Bob Dylan and, and um, Simon Garfunkel in the bottom of the guitar and the bottom of the guitar case and um and mum and dad of course have been good parents and give me piano lessons so I could read music so I could read the dots for the melody and then I worked out what the things were that told you how to play the chords you know they got the goes this is the c shape and all of that but I didn't really know I'd never heard the songs but they were, I was just reading these lyrics going how many Oh, it's just a man walk down before you can call him a man. And it was so romantic to me. I was probably 13, 14, and I was just like, whoa. And so the music of the 60s is how I learned to play music. But I didn't, I hadn't heard those songs because I didn't grow up with it. Um, but I read it. So it was the words. And then, you know, obviously we didn't have Google or anything like that. But I found my way into some of it and got into Janis Joplin and all that kind of thing. So I'm going to play one of the songs that I have recently recorded because I decided to make an album of those songs just to go, this is how I do them now, you know, because I'm a freewheeling improv freakazoid person. So I'm going to play you guys a song called A Satisfied Mind, which is Bob Dylan covered it, which is how it became famous. It was written by a couple of blokes called Red Hayes and Jack Rhodes back in the day and it's just a perennial and I probably even heard it uh it was on a Jeff Buckley album uh sketches for my sweetheart the drunk I think was the album so so I'm gonna do it I'm gonna take my headphones off and do it here we go yay and the reason the reason that I'm doing it is because um I it also I played this the other night at the a uh, gig for the uh, Out From The Mist photo photographic award ceremony because it's a satisfied mind, which is, again, that thing about vibrationally reaching for the thing that you want rather than looking at what you don't want, which has been a huge part of my, I wouldn't say recovery, but my management of my mental health. So certainly in the last few years. Once I was 
When my life is ended And time has run out My friends and my loved ones I'm gonna leave them no doubt But one thing's for certain When it comes my time I'm gonna leave this whole world mm -hmm. With satisfied mind Whoa, whoa, hey How many times Have you heard someone say If I had that money long I would do things my way oh, But little they know, little they know That it's so hard to find One rich Heart in ten with a satisfied mind. Oh, oh, oh. I ought to live in the oven, 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 the Hey. <laughs> oh yay! Oh, That's nice. mad. That's cool. Oh. That was That's so been... tasty. Yeah, super tasty. <laughs> wow, it's cool. It's all yeah. about the casual. Such a great rendition. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. There you go. Christine chimed in with a wow, big, yeah. gorgeous yeah. gem. 
You girls are awesome. Uh, we are awesome. You too, Jan. <laughs> <laughs> Go team. And they're gorgeous. What a gorgeous yeah. crew. Oh, but that's beautiful. The ins- just the just is like inspired. I just love that. I love how this ra- the yeah. lifting and raising of women and like you know the I really feel opening up and I just every single time like it's just like oh my gosh I'm so excited to go and I hear something I'm like oh I'm gonna try that it's like you give me permission to do you know to do things with my voice and I think that that's such a great yeah. thing to give people permission like just by doing by doing something you you shining a, a, a a light into onto a pathway thank you yeah oh yeah, no yeah. no oh totally like we're doing it though and that's the cool thing it's like this little you know it's quite special i really i know like it's too. so cool i'm so excited it's like oh my god we've been here two hours <laughs> i could do another two yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, we're not going to it's right we can do a reenactment we can do we can do a reenactment with them yeah, no, we'll you know, work on, to we'll be con- back in sometime. To be continued. To be continued. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Thanks for inviting us on this great date, Melanie. Yeah. It's cool. I did, <laughs> yeah. I didn't think I was into menage a trois, but I totally am with you girls. <laughs> <laughs> totally oh. musically poly. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, man. Menage a twang. <laughs> Okay, let's yeah. sing. So let me just let me just check here. We've got first the first song we've got is 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 a hip hop yodeling. I'm just written this down. Hip hop yodeling song. Sad songs oh, make me happy. Yeah, and then and then we've got and then we just I'm just gonna get that down there. We've got the second song is called Polly. All right, we're fine. We're good. Yeah. The album's <laughs> done. It's pretty much written yeah. itself. Yeah. It's written itself. I want to do like a hip hop song where it's like every female woman that's ever been in politics raps about her experience, but just we embody them. You know? <laughs> Yo, your mum with a bottle of rum is a bitch. I'm not, I'm not, bitch. Bitch. I'm not Bob Brown's bitch. I'm not Bob Brown's bitch. She said ditch the witch, but I'm not bitch. I've got a, you know, like whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ah. But like, it's in so tape. Funny. I can cut oh. it up and like. You know? Do all sides of politics, so get Pauline in. So, you know, do the whole thing. I think we like, already had that. It? I'm a backdoor man. Yeah. <laughs> right. I got so inspired <laughs> after seeing that doco, um, uh, Strong Female Lead, recently on SBS On Demand, which is the Julia Gillard but, um, story, and then Annabelle Crabb's series on iView about Australian women in politics. But Annabelle's crab thing, the one thing that I would have loved to have seen, and I don't know whether they tried to do it, maybe they did, maybe they didn't, but I would have loved to have had them interview Pauline Hanson and Pauline talking about her experience or whether she's in denial about the misogyny or whatever. But I wanted her because they got everybody else from both sides, all sides of politics. Yeah, you're right. So you, you're right. It would be it would be good to get that because, like... I want her. I want to feel her as because, a woman, you know? Because everybody... Like, I mean because that. I... Well, like, every, like the thing I get right now is like, I really kind of want. We, I want. Okay, okay. When I was at high school, I wanted to be the prime minister, right? And so yeah. I wanted. I did, I mean, like one was, Melanie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's all this stuff like, I was doing, do, you know, like debating do. and stuff. Alone, 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 that, alone, alone. Okay, sorry. Yep. Go. Yeah. yeah what are you doing? So there's all this. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> there was just all this stuff I was doing. Like I was a shy person, but I was doing debating and etc in order to be i wanted to be prime minister so it's funny then because then you don't get encouraged to do i don't know like i think we were all very very protective of our kids and stuff and our friends to not let them be politicians uh, or or just not think about it it was sort of tucked away like you don't really want to do that you want to do other stuff oh you don't identify cool, like, like that as a, as a being, possibility mostly. yeah like yeah and all and, and also just wherever like, you are the people who want, a lot of people don't want their mates to be damaged by being politicians, right? But the thing is, if we don't do it, there's a whole pile of people who are encouraging their kids to be politicians, mm. and it's kind of they're kind of scary. And so mm. we actually need to grab our mates who are politicians. Like I love Christy McBain, um, who's our local, who's you know he, you know leads Eden Monaro at the moment. Like yeah. we have to 
and and I don't really you know, you know whether you it's your mate and their right wing or the yeah we have to like, make because when yeah when you're in in Ireland everybody listens to the budget everybody the old people the young people everybody does you you go and this is budget and then you go to the chemist afterwards which is what I did and the young bloke behind the counter answered the old lady who was in front of the counter did you just listen to the budget yes I listened to the budget well you know you're answerable to every person that listened to that damn budget whereas we don't take ownership in Australia of no, of it don't. I agree. And, and I used, isn't and it? we used to listen to it as a family. Like, well, because you're cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. My family wasn't cool, but it was like no, we you weren't allowed to watch cartoons. So if we listened to anything, it'd be like the budget. The and there budget. was like adults really excited. <laughs> yeah. I had to listen to it. Like, I wonder why I chose the stage. Yeah, yeah. Well, people come to the front door. Like, so the politicians have to come to the actual front door, not just like an, yeah. you know, send you a postcard but yeah or, you're yeah, answerable to everybody loud. right yeah exactly. yeah and so that whole thing of like i'm so i was i would be so scared to tell my girls to be politicians but actually one of them wants to be prime minister as well and the other one hilariously wants to be um the the, the um the head of of america which is you know even worse well, they, gotta let, they, gotta, they gotta let foreigners work for nasa first but yeah we'll get there but, you know but but you know like just you come like no but then you're like hang what on we it? should do it right we have to let our kids we have to let our kids and and also our our comrades uh i shouldn't say comrades be <laughs> yes you know yes, you encourage should. them yes you should say comrades <laughs> is this a socialist podcast Oh, I did not know communist. that. Oh, I'm it's going. I can't believe it's turned to communism already. <laughs> sorry, I'm, a, I'm sorry. I just like to say I identify my political. Oh, <laughs> <I didn't. laughs> uh, uh, you know what? It, I tell you what. It's a, it's a bit dorky, but I actually really, really, if I didn't love singing so much, I would so be a politician. <laughs> you would. You'd be great. You'd be great because you're like, excuse me, excuse me. Um, so you know that thing where um, men think that they can rape men and women in parliament and uh, in the uh, but I don't think it's not not good. I didn't think you'd think it was a good idea. Great. Okay. Excellent. I'll go away. <laughs> <laughs> you do such a great job, mate. It's like it's stealth. Okay, stealth. It's not why I should be a politician. I'm too thin-skinned, so I would just be like, I, I couldn't do it. No, no. I've got skeletons in my closet. There's no way. Yeah. No, well, I've worked with butchers. There's heaps of skeletons and I've worked with butchers. Everything's fine. Like, oh, no. If you can hey, stand up. Think about that today. you just got to own it. You know, you got to own who you've been, you know. Yeah, I don't yeah. have any skeletons. I'm open about everything. I mean, I really don't. But I just, I just am too, like, I would just be like, I'd just be perpetually outraged. And I'm just like, mm. oh, yeah. <laughs> but, I have boyfriends who are way worse than Gladys's. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. Like, 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 you know, she, you yeah. know, we all know what it's like to be in a disastrous relationship where someone destroys you. Yeah. 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 And like, when you compromise your integrity for love, oh. and yeah, yeah, destroys I know you that. After you've finished it with them, you know. Yeah, I know. Why? why? And <laughs> fucks you. <laughs> like, yeah. Know, it's like. <laughs> yeah. I, I just I'm still waiting for the reckoning though, because I reckon it's gotta come around. The reckoning will happen. Like Oh, it will, it will. It'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. I have good feelings about that, otherwise I'd be crying more. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> Holy Thanks. shit. Oh hilarious. <laughs> oh I have to play a song, don't I? That's right. I have to yes, play you. a song. Vote what? one, I'm Melanie, gonna... vote one, Melanie. I had an idea. How about I play a political one? Go, go, go. I was thinking I want to get Vote One Melanie stickers printed for my merch counter and it could just be like a single, uh, sorry, a, a um, soul mother um, fundraising campaign for women who have kids who are on the road as musos. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Ten bucks a bumper sticker. Vote yeah, let's, let's, let's bring the younger generations up. If you're 20 and you have a kid, we're right. going to, like, support you, sister. Yeah, what you're up? Mad. Yeah. So if you just, don't, yeah, we will. will. Ten bucks yeah, or more. Cool. Here you go. Square pay. Where you go. Vote one, Melanie. And it's like a stupid campaign, but it's really beautiful. Vote one, Melanie. There's a sticker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you know, you know. 
<laughs> you know? <laughs> Go on, Melanie, play us a song. Well, I think, you know what, I when you were talking about your song before, you mentioned Blowing in the Wind, and oh, yeah. also we've now mentioned politics, so I think I should just play Blowing in the Wind, right? Yes! Okay. Oh, but I'm so not, excited. But, but I've got no jazz chords. Like, it just, it's just going to be oh, straight no. up, B. Eh? No, it's A, D, and E all the way, baby. Like, <laughs> it is, it, What's funny is it's a, it's one of the first songs I learned, and and yeah, I really, same. really want to teach it to the girls. So, anyway, I'll, I'll go for it. And, and, I'll, and I'll see you in a second. Okay. See you on the other Yay! side. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ready, spaghetti? I've got my. Okay. I think I can do it. I think it's going to be here. Da 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 Change the screen. Okay. How many roads must a man walk down before he can call him man? How many seas must a white dove sail before she sleeps in the sand? How many times must the cannonballs fly before they're forever bad? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. How many years can a mountain exist? Before it is washed to the sea How many years can some people exist Before they're allowed to be free Yes, and how many times can a man turn his head And pretend that he just doesn't see The answer, my friend Blowing in the wind, the answer is blowing Yes, and how many times must a man look up before he can see the sky? How many years must one man have before he can hear people cry? Yes, and how many deaths will it take till he knows that too many people have died. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing That was amazing. Oh, you. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> that was I just loved how you played it. Yeah, she's got that picking style that you just really flow with and it really 
Yeah. I was experimenting yeah. a little in the middle, but it, 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 I was like, it worked. Oh, it worked too. Yeah, it totally Ooh. worked. <laughs> Soul mama. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. That's the best. Yeah. Hashtag. Let's it. do it. I'll make a Let's sticker, hey. Yeah. I'll, get a, I'll get a PayPal up tonight. We'll do it. Vote my Melanie. Support. <laughs> Soul mamas. To make music and stay on the road. Yeah. Well, Elena, what do you got for us? All right. And I've just got to, I think after this, I'm just going to have to do one more because. Um, What's this one? We've got one more each and then we, we're one more each and then we'll say goodnight to everybody. Okay, cool. So this yeah. is my parting song. Um, yeah. And um, this is because I want to leave a legacy in in this world and you know like it's really important that you know women's stories are told and this is a story about um a night that I was feeling rather lonely and the legacy I want to leave in the world is a new world to be put into the dictionary a new word to be put into the dictionary and um the new word is winking and the meaning of winking so um I'll leave you with this song early one evening all alone at my home. I was feeling rather frisky, so I called you on the phone. But after calling for an hour, oh, you left me high and dry. Then I remembered an old friend who could help me get by. Well, I dialed the rotary phone and I hitchhiked way down south. I let my fingers do the walking and I didn't get off the couch. I got a date with old Slick Bittens, I was just bitten round the bush. I was brushing my pet Bilby up on my lazy tush. Well, I tiptoed through the two lips, I was polishing my pearl. I did the two finger taco tango, I had a night in with the girls. Cause I tingle myself pink, with me lovely lady wink. Yeah, I tickle myself pink with me lovely lady wing. Like Moses, I parted the Red Sea. I had a clam bake just for one. And biblically, I knew myself because I came into my own. Oh, 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 oh. I become very self-educated. Yes, I'm making up whole new words. And those clever men at Oxford blink when they see how much I wink. <laughs> oh, I tickle myself pink with me lovely lady wink. Yeah, I tickle myself pink with me lovely lady wink. So if you're feeling out of sync, Relax at 40 winks and feel ever so sweet and cute when you strum your lady, strum your lady, Remember, if guys can have a wink, <laughs> girls can have a That's wink, right? Best. A wink. <laughs> oh, oh, that's yeah. the best. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> How shall Yay. I Oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, God. That is so good. <laughs> that's the best, like, surprise of the evening. Perfect. <laughs> well played. Well you just got to have a bit of fun and, like, winking is so yeah. important. So, like, let's all, like, there's not a lot of good words for, you know, women Actually, pleasuring themselves. So well, now we've got yeah. it. There's our, there's our next bumper sticker. We wink for mental health. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's, we've, got, yeah. we've got so many T-shirts to make to the end of tonight, oh, huh? T-shirts. T- yeah, wink if you love the Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Totally, you know, like, uh, you know, bespoke fabric. <laughs> I like to wink. <laughs> oh I'm such a winker. Oh, that's going to be our hip hop, hip hop country I'm song. I'm such a winker. <laughs> uh, oh my um, gosh! Thank you. Oh. I thought I should oh, so just end on a, a high note. Oh, you just yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> the fun so song, good. that one. And you, and you were cheeky because you just sort of snuck it in there, just like. Oh yeah, no. You know, you know it was if I if I, if I was pretty warned, I would have like I would have pulled out a little uh, you know, um, divinals just to to lead in there. Oh, oh my lord! <laughs> no, I wasn't going to um, warn you. <laughs> it was so cute. Oh my god, oh, my that good. <laughs> so good. You're rather frisky now. How's everyone else feeling? <laughs> It's end of the date night, you see. That's how it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you called it like it is, isn't it? I missed a trick, but that that's that you really did. Got you, yeah. That, that was that fun was writing good. that song, let me tell you. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Clever. You've just been Clever laughing Clever. the whole time. <laughs> yeah, lots of research, Jackie. You know that. Yeah. With your <laughs> of course. <Lots> of <laughs> experience. <laughs> Lived experience. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Oh, funny. Too much. Anyway, I'm going. Huh? <laughs> I was Sorry. thinking, what have you got, Marshall? For the for the oh, you got the gig, you got the giggles. Well, uh, no, no, no. I'm just wiping my cry tears away. But hey, it's there. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm. I didn't. I had. I didn't plan to do this, but I um. But the, the computer is sitting right beside the grandmother singing bowls. Oh, shit. Did I go the right way? Hang I on. am mad. Yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, times when you were high torching down the guts of life with your holy fire away you were free in the moment free to know your heart free to love forever Far from the dead of dark, do not, do not beat yourself up. Leaning on bars, metaphorical and more. 
pictures you stole Always in love, precious and mine You do not regret, but do not forget Being free in the moment Free to be your heart Free to love forever, far from the daily dark, free. Oh, free, oh, oh Lord. And when you are little inside of yourself, take one long look and one breath. Remember yourself All those lovely times When you were high Tearing at the guts of life With your holy fire I am inserted. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that went like it was magical. It went shumph, you know? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's for us, you know? Like, yeah, that's for us. Yeah. Uh, just beautiful i'm speechless thank you yeah. thanks beauties thank we'll, you. we'll we'll wave good to everybody and we'll, we'll um thanks for joining us and, and 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 christine says like an evening lullaby um it's a perfect little um adventure off now into the evening good night yeah. beautiful people yeah. good night you Hello. you beautiful three and uh and um sweet dreams everybody Except for sweetest people dreams are, to you all except for people who are awake and it's thank you girl thank you women thank you women thank you cara and for women in the whip mix as well for joining and um thanks for making my heart like expand thank you yes <laughs> thank you thanks for the hot night as well yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> well listen that good night bless oh, you everyone sweet thank you